Hey folks, this is Adria. WordPress released 2.84 this week. Why? Because there's a small security issue um, which doesn't truly endanger your blog, but it's good to stay updated anyway. So the last update I did uh, for folks was upgrading from 2.7 to 2.8. So now we're going to go ahead and get updated to WordPress 2.84. So here we are on the dashboard and it lets you know what version you're currently using. I'm using 2.82. I can upgrade to 2.84. Now I want to just warn people because if you look at the documentation for WordPress, they warn you as well. They say, please don't just click upgrade. Please back up your database and your files. We're going to do this folks. It's not that bad. Let me go ahead and click. It's really essential that you back up your database and files. Otherwise you could lose your posts, your comments, your images, uh, your settings, everything. So when we click here, it's going to bring us to information about how to back up our WordPress site, right? And once again, it warns you, you could lose everything, okay? Uh, if you're using cPanel, control panel, a lot of hosting companies use it. I'm just going to walk you through how to do it. The two things you want to do are back up your files in your database. So in your control panel here, you go to backups, and then you're going to have the option to back up your files in your database. So this is running cPanel 11, so this is what it'll look like. So what, what I suggest doing is first backing up your database because that's really where the meat and potatoes are. That's the important thing. And I know that this one is my WordPress database, so I'm going to click that, and then it's going to prompt me to download it. I'm going to say, yes, I'd like to save. And what I encourage people to do is to timestamp your database. Now, if you're restoring a database and you timestamp it manually with, with uh, the date, you're going to need to uh, reverse that before you restore it. More on that later. So there we go, 2009, 08, 113, and then I hit save. All right, that's all done. Now the other thing you need to back up is your home directory. That includes your themes, in case you've customized it, it includes all your WordPress files. So it's important that you back up your files as well. So we'll click here on home directory, and then we'll say save. And I save uh, my site backups to a different directory. So here we go, site backup. And the nice thing is um, for this, it'll actually timestamp it for you. So then you can just hit. All right, now it's all done. So then we'll go ahead and close. Now, folks, we can go ahead and upgrade. So now that we've backed them both up, another thing you may want to do is turn off all of your plugins. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do the in place upgrade. And uh, every other upgrade I've done. Um, with this new wonderful feature in WordPress, it happens in a couple of seconds. So isn't it nice knowing that you've upgraded your database, you've upgraded your uh, files, and everything went okay. So here we go. WordPress upgraded successfully. How do you know that it truly worked? Well, if you go back to your dashboard, you'll see right here you are using WordPress 2.84. So it's very straightforward that you have you have updated your uh, your blog or your website. So with that, Enjoy, take care, and if you have any questions, you can always ask me on Twitter.